And now we're on to these flavoured beers. Now, it may come as a surprise to you that hops were in fact quite a late flavouring addition to beer. They were added as a sort of bouquet garni in just the same way as juniper, ginger, thyme, even cherries had been introduced before. Now, hops gradually took over as the dominant flavouring. And the other medleys of fruits, spices and herbs died out. Well, almost died out. But the great news is they're back. There's a powerful revival of flavoured beers on the shelves. And if you haven't tried them yet, I can tell you it's high time you did. Oz. Yeah, in these islands, we've got a tradition of flavouring beers with spices and with herbs, which goes back, well, at least to 2000 BC, when the ancient Picts on the Scottish island of rum were flavouring their ale with heather. And my first beer is a triumphant recreation, therefore, of a 4,000-year-old recipe. It's called Freoch which is the Gaelic for heather, and it's brewed using myrtle leaves and just the tiny flowering tips of the purple heather that blazes so gloriously in the Scottish glens during the summer. Mm, and I smell it, and it's wild, and it's, it's exhilaratingly refreshing. It's a dry, full beer, but above all, it does taste of heather, and it's almost got a gingery bite to it. So, brilliant, a modern recreation of the traditional ale of the Highland Clansman.